Alright, welcome, hello, my name is Adrian, welcome to the channel, English with Adrian, helping you learn English, expand your vocabulary, and speak like a native Englishman. Let's have a look at how we can make sentences shorter by replacing certain words. So, shortened sentences, replacing words, longer words with shorter ones, yes, so... Shorter ones are better than the longer words. So one and ones can be used to replace singular and plural countable nouns. So when you have things, I have some books. I have one. I have one book. I have a book. I have a book. I have one. Um, ones and ones. So sing plural countable nouns. So I have the books. I have a book. I have one. I have just one of the book. I've got. I've got. I've got the whole set of Game of Thrones. I know the one. I've got the ones. I've got them all. One ones can be used to talk about a group of things or people, and some used to talk uh, used with uncountable and indefinite pronouns. Do you have the books? Uh, I have some of the books. Yeah, I've got some. Game of Thrones books. Do you have any Game of Thrones? I got some. One or two. I got one. Have you got um, Terry Pratchett, The Fifth Elephant? I know the one. Yes, I have it. Yeah. Have you got... Have you got any water? Some. I have some. I have some. I have some water. I have some. So... Does anyone have an idea? An idea. Uncountable. An idea. Uh, I have one. I have one. One what? I have one idea. Ah, I have one idea. Yeah. Is there a car here? I need a car. Have you got a car? There is one for you. I have one car for you. I have a car for you. I have one car for you. I need a book on learning Spanish. I've got just the one for you. I've got one. I know the one. Well, I need a Spanish book that has pictures. And it's in English. And it's for children. And it's very basic Spanish. Very basic vocabulary. I know the one you're talking about. I know the one. I know where it is. Yeah. But then look, with plural, plural meaning two plus, and countable, things you can count. Things you can count. One book, for example. One book, one wallet. Yeah. One watch. I have one watch, or I have two watches. You can count them. Are there any shops here? A any shops? Any shops? Are there any shops? Uh, um, hmm. There are some. Remember? Countable nouns. There are some. Or in this case, plural. Some over there. There's one or two. I'm looking for a shop that sells like cakes. And it used to have this like mannequin outside. And the owner was really cheerful. It was a nice friendly guy. I know the one. It's um, it's that one, that one, over there. Yeah. There are a few good ones next door. I'm looking for a shop that has uh, that sells jewelry, watches, for example, rings or necklaces, bracelets. There's a few good ones next door. There's a good jewelry jewelers down the road. There's a oh, good one over there. There is one you can try. Other side of town. It's a bit far. But there are some shops in the jewellery quarter. About 20 miles away. But really good. Yeah. I got more water even though I didn't ask for some. I got more water even though I didn't ask. But I got it anyway. I went shopping for good for a book 
and got some good ones. I went shopping for a book. <laughs> I went shopping for a book. And I found a big one. I got some good books. I got some really good books. Wow. But I got some, some books that I never read. Some. Well, I never read it. I got some uh, clothes. I got some clothes. But the one that I like, I wear it all the time. The red and orange. Yeah. Yeah. I went shopping for a book and got some good ones. Some good ones. Yeah. Yeah. But substituting do with did as they can replace present present and past simple tense verbs there is oil everywhere oh oil everywhere what should i do do something do something doesn't matter anything what did you do there's oil every there's oil everywhere what did you do in the past. What did you do for this to happen? What did you do? It's a mess. What did you do? I dropped the barrel. <laughs> there are people everywhere. Should I call the police? Yes. Do that. Yes, do so. Yes, do it. Do it. Present and future. Do it. What happened here? Did, did someone have an accident? Yes, they did. It was five minutes ago. Yes, they did. I think the paperwork is easy. I think the paperwork is easy. I think maybe even the homework is easy. I think the lesson is easy. I did it yesterday. Mm. I had to do some chores I had to do some chores I did them yesterday I did them yesterday I finished them already I have homework to do to do I don't well, I won't do it do it until after Friday Saturday morning <laughs> Saturday morning I won't do it until Friday I did it yesterday. Yeah. So they they can uh, be put in the sentence. Yeah. Substituting so and not in a positive positive clause after verbs of thinking so we can use not and not so for negative. So verbs of thinking. Will he be singing live on stage? Ho 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 ho. I hope so. I'm afraid not. I hope so. Well, hope so twice there, yeah. But I hope not. I hope not. Oh, I hope not. I hope so. I hope so he will be singing. I hope not. I hope he won't be singing. I hope not. Oh, I hope not. But I hope so. Yes. Yeah. It appears not. It, it, by the look of it, it appears not. Yeah. I don't imagine so. I don't imagine so. I, I don't think so. I don't imagine so. It doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem so. He'll be singing live. It doesn't seem so. Or I hope not. Is he going to come on stage? Will he come on stage? Oh. I hope not. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. So we can substitute the so and not in a positive after verbs of thinking uh, to create a negative. To create a negative. I hope not. Will Will she come and talk to us? Will she come and talk to us? Will she? I hope not. Oh, not. I hope she does not come and talk to us. I hope 
they do not talk to us. It doesn't seem that they will talk to us. I do not imagine they will talk to us. I don't imagine so. I don't imagine so. I'm afraid they will not talk to us. I'm afraid they will not talk to us. But I, I hope she will talk to us. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool way of shortening sentences and replacing the long words with short ones. Yeah. Now, if you want to keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, yeah, you know, um, speak like a native Englishman and increase your confidence then hit the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, bye for now.